matter that could use your expertise. What kind of matter? I devised a training simulation wherein a highly trained vigilante has requested our assistance in clearing the city of a long-standing menace. That's... vague. I promise you that it's the finest simulation I have ever crafted. Greatest vigilante needs our help in drawing out his arch nemesis. To do so, we must confront the foul captain's army of minions, draw out his lieutenants until the terrible menace reveals himself. Then we must take him on in an earth shattering final conflict. <laughs> ah, the three count. Seems every time I'm here, I never have time to just sit back and enjoy the games. And I get the herp. Loosest slots in Steelport. Superpowers like yours don't exist in this universe, so you won't be able to use them. This simulation better be awesome, Matt. Okay, here comes trouble. This is the army of minions? Zombies? Who has an army of zombies? You... Uh, have to be prepared for anything. I don't think zombies are a pressing matter, Matt. Whose army did you say this was? His true nature is known only to a secret cabal of followers. Uh, well, uh... Matt, is this Nightblade fan fiction? Uh, please! I'm not one of those forum-stalking hacks who spit out poorly constructed, badly edited wish fulfillment brimming with cannon-breaking Mary Sues and... Oh, so you've read it. Of course I've read it! How long have you been working on this simulation? Oh, I wrote the original short story between seasons two and three, when it seemed Nightblade may be retiring. So he set about finding the one person who could take his place. Oh, Matt. Sweet, sweet Matt. Nightblade has a rich cosmology merely hinted at in the television series. As many classic genre shows, the universe belongs as much to the fans as the creators. No, oh, I'm not judging. You're not? No, no, I am. But I really don't want to have this conversation right now. It's up to the fans to keep Nightblade alive! Especially now that the Earth is gone, and there will never be any more official stories! My condolences on your loss. Ooh, so close. Good work, you two. Especially you, Matt. Thank you, Nightblade. The bad news is the Cardinal is not in the three count, as we originally thought. <sighs> so where is he? Oh my god, Nightblade is on his way! Hello, Matt. It's good to see you again. And you must be the protege I've heard so much about. Yes. I must be. The Cardinal is on the move, but I have good intelligence regarding his final destination. I'll lead you to him. Stay close, but not too much. We don't want to give my nemesis too easy a target. Can't forget the pickle. It looks so much better than that than she now. Onward! Toward battle! So, what do you think? You have to be having some fun. I do. At least a little bit? Killing zombies is never not fun. Thank you, Nightblade. The bad news is the Cardinal is not in the three count, as we originally thought. <sighs> so where is he? Meet me outside the casino. I'm on my way. Oh my god, Nightblade is on his way! Hello, Matt. 
It's good to see you again. And you must be the protege I've heard so much about. Yes, I must be. The Cardinal is on the move, but I have good intelligence regarding his final destination. I'll lead you to him. Stay close, but not too much. We don't want to give my nemesis too easy a target. Onward to Orc Battle! So, what do you think? You have to be having some fun. I do. At least a little bit? Killing zombies is never not fun, Matt. That's why they're called zombies. Well, I knew you were having a good time. Is this simulation really made for Asha? Originally? Yes. Why did she reject it? Asha doesn't appreciate the rich fiction of the Nightblade universe. She called it paranormal bromance. I'm sorry, Matt. Swords up, brothers! The Cyprian Order is on our day! Attacked en route to the main villain. Nicely played, Matt. Good escalation of conflict. Uh, thank you. So I'm not really up to date on Nightblade fiction. Who are the Cyprian Order again? The Cyprian Order are a sect of brave soldiers, waging a clandestine war against the creatures of the night. Franklin Knight was a member of the Order until he succumbed to the Dark Embrace, and was turned into one such creature. A vampire. Uh, okay, now the Cyprian Order hunt Nightblade too? That's right. Oh, okay, but Nightblade still fights vampires along with fighting the Cyprian Order? Correct! That sounds... compelling. It's a dramatic work that's exemplar of the form. Well, look at you! Have you had time to build this? It's based on a training simulation that Asha rejected. How many simulations is Asha having you build? I don't know, a dozen? A dozen? She likes to keep her skills honed. So, Nightblade, huh? What else can you tell me? Does he have a love interest or anything? Oh, oh, oh my god, yes! Franklin Knight had a wife, Sylvia, who was killed by a vampire. It was this tragic moment that started him on his path as a hunter. A lone man wandering the earth looking for justice, never to love again. Until he met Marion, who desperately wanted to be Nightblade's bride. But he was forced to walk away, stating, After losing Sylvia, I can never love again. Ooh, that's a good line. One of the finest ever written. Why are we here? Excuse me, Nightblade! I thought we had to lure the Cardinal out first. I enjoyed your story well enough. Zinyak. Shit. But I thought your ending could use a little work. What are you doing to my story? Matt, get back. I will not! I won't have some effete alien dictator stomping all over my expanded universe fiction! Matt, get back! Matt Miller, I... Thought you were my ally. But I am! Now, I find you're actually a pawn of the Cardinal! No, Nightblade, I would never... Miller! Oh, this is a good so This is terrible! I need you to focus. We could have been such close friends, Matt. But you stabbed me through the heart. <sighs> Metaphorically. We are going to get Zinyak for this. Sure. For this, you know, because up until now, Zinyak's crimes have been that bad. You're not taking this seriously. I'm trying to save our lives, Matt. <laughs> oh, I don't want to fight you, Nightblade. You'll never have me, vile assassin. Give me Franklin Knight! I can't take this anymore! Typical writer can't stand honest critique. While my version of this story had Nightblade triumphant over the friend who betrayed him, a far more compelling take on the narrative, I believe, I suppose you'll have this your way, then. Let's get out of here. I can't stand the way this has turned out. But we're not done yet. We're not? Not until you get your powers. Powers? Powers? 
How would I... You mean from Nightblade? The fight against the creatures of the night and the fellows that turned on him must continue. Don't let Franklin Knight have died in vain. So... you do understand. Matt, if it makes any difference... Yes? As the sole living world leader from planet Earth, this is probably the only power, so... I hereby assign you all rights, titles, and licenses, possible merchandise, to the Nightblade property. You what? On one condition. Of course. Never stop. Shonda, you okay? Kinsey told me she saw Veteran Child inside your simulation. I didn't think it still bothered me, but I'm actually worried about this. About Veteran Child? I don't want him coming to try to kill me again. Again, again. Fuck it, you know what I mean. Can we just go kill him, please? Veteran Child's getting ready to give a DJ concert in the park. The last thing I want is him setting up shop and coming after me again. Which is why- Hey, hey! Chill. This'll just take a sec. Which is why we need to score something to boost us up for killing that douchebag. There's deals going down around the city. We crash in, wipe out any resistance, and party with whatever they got. Trust me, this alien shit should give us an edge. All right, Shandy. We're hitting one of the deals you mentioned first. Hold on. Why are we listening to this burnout? Veteran Child is out there, and you're gonna help her score drugs. Hey, I'm just trying to give us an edge. What's wrong with that? Both of you, cut it out. Veteran Child isn't going anywhere, and helping out young Shandy first isn't gonna hurt. If she says this could help us, then I say we try. Thank you. If you even think about calling me old Shandy, I am gonna shoot you. This is the place. All right, get to clearing out the guards. Fine, whatever. The dealer ducked around the corner. I swear, if we get killed before we even get to Veteran Child, I am gonna be pissed. What's this stuff we're after anyway? Some alien-created drug. It's supposed to enhance your abilities on top of giving you a really wicked buzz. Right, just like you thought lower dust was gonna make you clairvoyant and invincible. I never did test that invincible part. Make sure to get the package from the dealer. Okay, let's give this a shot. That's interesting. Oh, God. What's interesting? This doesn't look like the right stuff. Yeah, I'm not feeling anything here. Damn it! This guy was selling a low-grade knockoff. Or maybe it just doesn't do anything, like I said. Hey, I'm the expert here, remember? Trust me, this wasn't what we're after. All right, I'll give this plan of yours one more try, then we're helping Shandy. The... the other Shandy. Cool with me. My source says this next guy should be loaded with the right product. Then why'd we hit that last one at all? What's wrong with one and more? I hate myself. You're wound up way too tight. I am just trying to get our ex out of our lives for good. I thought that you'd at least appreciate that. I'm all for being serious about dealing with problems, but that doesn't mean giving up on having a little fun in the process. Well, not everyone can be like you. But you are me. Don't you see? We're the same. Not anymore. We've got nothing left in common. <sighs> that hurts. I see him. I think they're happy to see me, though. This is better than everyone! to do this girl we've been shot lit on fire hit by cars and now kidnapped by aliens one of these days we're not gonna get back up and when that day comes if we haven't gotten high on alien narcotics we have not lived a life we can be proud of fine I'll pass this shit now this looks like what we're after <laughs> anyone else feeling anything nope Maybe it takes a minute to kick in. I knew this was a bust. Come on, you promised to go after Veteran Child now. A man of my word. Let's go. <sighs> I don't get it. Whoa. Holy 
Holy shit, my powers feel limitless. Oh man, this stuff is killer. What the hell was that? What? What happened? I don't know. I just feel... Power. Okay. <laughs> it really has been too long since you spoke up. No, she's right. I feel it too. It's like every muscle in me is gonna burst. Holy crap, we have superpowers. I know, right? I told you I knew what I was doing. Wait, are you two actually getting along? Well, she's finally mellowing out. Well, you finally had a good idea. I'll bet I'm faster than you. There's no way that's possible. Yeah? Then come on, let's see what you got. Ashanti, I thought we were going after- Oh, you're on. There's no way you're outrunning me. Then catch me. Hold on, will you two get back here? Come on, you slowpoke. You call that fast? What's the matter? Smoke too much? You aren't catching me. Give it up! Face it, I'm faster than you. Let me show you how it's done. You two stop playing around? I won! No, you didn't. I was right with you the whole time. Shondi's Fine. I'll fight you for it. Bring it on. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, remind me not to do that again. Serves you both right. I thought you wanted to go after Veteran Child. Oh, good point. Sorry, you're right, boss. It's fine. Let's just get moving. I still totally won. Shut up. Shh. Looks like you have some special guests. Just like Johnny Talk. Let's get this party started. Fuck. We got some sort of field protecting him. Deal with the crowd first. We'll pry his ass out of there later. Um, Shandy. Since when is the furry crowd into veteran child? Since, like, never. Why? What do you mean, why? Look around. I feel like I'm gonna get gift on or something. Yeah. Ew. Hold on, are you tripping? <laughs> Total lightweight. This is just a bunch of college students, boss. There isn't a fuzzy purple ass in sight. Damn it. Your crowd didn't do much. Guess you should have hired some actual bodyguards. Oh, don't worry. The crowd was just to soften you up. What. The. Fuck. Oh, so much more me to love. Quit confusing love and load, you pervert. We gotta find a way through that shield. A little busy with these assholes right now. Shawnee, you think you can figure it out? Trying to not get killed here, but I'll see what I can do. Damn it! These guys are getting tougher as we kill them! Yeah, but the shield is weakening at the same time. How'd you figure that out? I've gotten better with tech. Even picked up a few tricks from Kinsey. Damn, I thought I was good with the computer, but that's impressive. I am you, remember? That's right. Then go me. So much for a hard fight. I can't be stopped. I can just lay down and let all of you You're right, it's working. The shield's getting weaker as his copies get more powerful. Hold on. Look at the speakers. The music seems to be what's causing it in the first place. Come on, Shondi. Let's take them down. You read my mind. You two work on that. I'll finish with these guys. Jesus, these guys have shields now. This is just you now, veteran child. Nowhere left to go. Damn it! Get, Get off, off me. me! Who lives and who dies? Fuck that! Whoa. Now that was awesome. Told you we were the same. <laughs> so we're cool then. <sighs> yeah, we're cool. Totally cool. Start shit within the semi.
population. Let's get together and take them out. What do you say? Sure thing, Pierce. to go in and... Hey! Damn it, girl. My mission, my call. There's a shipment of trucks being unloaded at the dock. That's what we hit first to start drawing out Zenyak's guys. All right, you want to meet me at the docks? No. Get in. I'm driving. It may be your mission, but I'm driving, Pierce. Fine, but I control the radio. Sure thing, Mr. Washington. So what does Zenyak need with trucks? Oh, they ain't for Zinya. Then how's this gonna piss him off? Oh. It'll piss off who they're for. And who are they for? Look, all we need to do is to get to the docks and destroy all the trucks. Think you can do that? All right, then how about a little driving music? <laughs> I thought you never asked. Oh, God. Pierce, oh. you sure this isn't, like, weird? All right, do it. I'm Pierce Washington on the rap, so Mike it. Here's a little story, and you're sure to like it. Uh. Swift and slide, and it's time to play with the president of the USA. Big. It seems we never, ever agree. You like the movies, and I like TV. Oh, I take things serious, and you take them light. I go to bed early, and I party all night. Our friends are saying, we ain't gonna last. Cause I move slow. And baby, I'm fast. Yeah, you are. I like it quiet. And I love to shout. But when we get together, it just all works out. I take. Two steps forward. I take two steps back. Uh, we come together, cause opposites attract, and you know it ain't fiction. Just a natural fact. We come together, cause opposites attract. All right, let's get our destruction on. What the hell is the Brotherhood doing here? You really surprised? Zinyak's pulling out all the old gangs from our past. I guess the monster trucks make sense then. Jesus, you think Donnie's around? Oh, I highly doubt that. That's the last one. All right, let's get going. Back in the car? I'm still driving, though. Good. Then we can listen to some more music on the way? <laughs> you know me so well. for some nuclear waste. What the hell for? Damn, they already boxed up the stuff. Hey, start checking the crates. Yeah, but... Come on, start checking! Just like Johnny taught me. Empty.
Nothing. You sure it's here? It's gotta be. Maybe it's on the other side of the building. There, got it. Great. Part two complete. Now to follow the guy getting away. Then should we be moving faster? Uh, that's a good idea. Looks like he isn't that far ahead. Remember, we can't kill him. We have to find out where he's going. Right, boss? <laughs> boss? Shit. I can get used to this. You don't. So, why ain't we singing? What? You know that's our thing. We turn on the radio and let ourselves go. Oh. Chris, we don't always have to do a sing-along. Oh, come on, man. We just did, too. That's all we ever had before. Besides, I'm trying not to lose this guy you're so psyched about, remember? But can't you tell someone and flex those pipes at the same time? No, not really. You know, seriously, I take my performance. Hmm. You have a point. How can I go back to following this mysterious guy you won't tell me anything about? All right, go right ahead. Hold on. Is that Meryl? Who do you think we've been after? The Brotherhood. The monster trucks. The radioactive material. Those were things that had meaning to Meryl. Going after them was the only way to flush him out. That's why I get paid the big bucks. So the Saints wish to play again. Well, this time I'm not going to offer you a deal. Don't worry. We wouldn't take one! I see you let your lackeys do the talking for you now. Hey, Meryl, how's Jessica? I'm going to enjoy killing you both. Damn it, the bastard didn't die! <sighs> the power I have here is incredible! As in Max, I always hated that asshole. See? My way works! You could've just come right for him or... My. Way. Works. You're right, it did. Nice job, Pierce. You mean, boss. Don't push it. Right. phase, they had to expect a little payback. Carlos was an easy time and hurt their boss the most. But Jessica, I was going too far. Then Vogel rips off my shipment after letting my crew get killed. I wasn't about to let the Brotherhood go down because of some prick in a suit. I thought I had that saint dead right. I mean, they couldn't kill me in my own home. What chance did they have to survive my trap? I had a perfect setup. Even used the truck that killed Jessica for a little poetic justice. But it didn't matter. I lost. Fucking saints. Tanya's been bringing Vice Kings into the simulation and building up her empire. But now, she's got a new way of recruiting. She's infected some people with a virus that turns them into her very own sex worker slaves. If that virus spreads, she'll have an army to add to the VK, making them unstoppable in the simulation. Matt's been able to trace the infected citizens. I'll take you to the first one. 
Working for Tanya, I'm guessing they're gonna put up a fight. No doubt. I'm not sure what exactly the virus has done to... But I'd be careful. Down there. Looks like they're not alone. You sure this absorption thing is gonna work? Only one way to find out. Though I'd soften them up before you try it. Alright, drop me off. Sorry to break up the party. Don't worry, everyone loses to me. Matt said since you're not actually a simulation program, you should be immune to the virus. I don't like the sound of that should. Whoa, head rush! Did it work? How do you feel? Fine, but something happened to my clothes. Sorry, forgot to mention that. It's just a temporary change, nothing permanent. But the absorption seems to have worked perfectly. No sign of the virus left in that person. Good. Let's get to the next one then. The next infected person's on the move. We can't let the virus spread. Stop the car however you have to. Danny, get your ass back here! Come out of there. Hurry? Tanya's always had her own tastes. I picture that as her thing. All right, I got the virus. The last one's by the church. We sure she hasn't infected more people? We're sure. If she had, things would be a lot worse off in here. You really think she could do that much damage, King? I made the mistake of underestimating her once before, and it cost me my crew and almost my life. Now, if she's back to finish the job, then I say she's probably even more dangerous. All right, this is the spot. A lot of these days. Hold on. Did she really turn that person into a gimp? Do your thing, then we can go after time. What? To the gimp? <laughs> at least I'm not wearing a ball gag. I'll meet you at the club. Then we can keep her from doing this to anyone else in the simulation. So what's the plan when we get there? We find Tanya and I put a bullet in her. We should do it. The last time she disappeared right in front of us. Don't worry. I'll be sure to block any attempt she makes at slipping through the coat. See? She's not getting away from me this time. I'll park this thing and meet you inside. Huh. Took she spiced this place up a bit. Good stage, good lights. Uh, Ben, there's something I need to do. Meet me by the backstage door. What's up? Did you find Tanya? No. I'm signing up for amateur night. We don't have time for this! Ben, there's no time but this. Hey, boss! Not now, King! I'm in the zone! That's right! Let me hear your adulation! see Tanya in the crowd. Huh, her loss. That's because while you were in the zone, she took one look at you and ran for the roof. Damn. You got nowhere to run, Tanya! That's where you're wrong, sweetie. Go after her. I'll be right behind you. Matt, you there? 
Wish I wasn't, but yeah, I'm here. I was great, right? I mean, I know I was, but I want to hear from you too. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out whether or not there was some sort of residual effect from absorbing those viruses that caused that sudden burst of... I don't know what to call it. It's called raw talent, Matt. And that wasn't the virus, that was something I was born to do. Whatever it is, please don't ever make me watch that again. Can we focus on killing Tanya before she gets away already? You think you can stop me? When I'm through, this whole city will be mine. Not gonna happen, Tanya. I'm fulfilling two dreams tonight. Unleashing the grace within me, and watching you die. Is that what you call that convulsion on stage? Don't you dare insult my talent! Player, drive her towards the park if you can, but keep her alive. I want to deal with her myself. Kill you, then I'm gonna find the coward king and make him suffer. Hey, you're the one who keeps running. Well, he's the one who ain't here. He just sent you to do his dirty work. Believe me, this whole thing was my pleasure. What are you doing? Goodbye, Tanya. King, she's in the park. Almost there. Oh shit, I think I killed her. Whoa! Killed me? I don't think so, sweetie. No, Tanya. You never should have fucked with me and my crew. Please, you don't have the balls. You never could die with dignity. Matt, she dead this time? Yep, there's no sign of her. Or her virus anywhere left in the simulation. Good. One last thing to worry about. What exactly does an MI6 agent think is fun? You don't know? Well then, this will be educational. Educational? <laughs> you know me so well. Time for you to experience the life of a Secret Service agent. A VIP is in town, and it's our responsibility to see she safely arrives at all three stops on her route. Along the way, we'll encounter scenarios typical of a VIP escort job. So, are you ready to put your life on the line to protect another? Asha, I'm pretty much a superhero. I'm set for whatever you can throw at me. You'll find Matt has disabled your special abilities for the duration of this exercise. But don't worry, you'll get them back once the exercise is complete. Get in. You're driving the VIP to her first stop. So who's the mark? You're at the client's time now. You do whatever needs to be done. All right, this is bugging me. I know that woman. Who is she? Are you serious? That's Tammy Tolliver. The reporter from Genki Bowl? You can find someone more important for us to protect? A security work is a cereal box. You don't get to pick your prize. Hey, see that guy over there? Tell me. Is he a threat? I don't know. It's your job to know. You have to decide right now. Take him out and possibly kill an innocent human being, or let him go and potentially put your VIP in mortal danger. Good job. Security might just be your plan B. All right, back in the car.
Intel reports high threat probability at our next stop, so we should be prepared for anything. Right, absolutely. Potential threats all over the place. Oh, I'm glad to see you taking this so seriously. Is MI6 really called upon to escort TV correspondents on shopping trips? Prior to MI6, I babysat overprivileged children of foreign dignitaries on multiple occasions. And after a certain street gang... Uh, international celebrities, you mean? You'll need a vantage point. Get to that rooftop across the way over there. Cover the VIP as I escort her into the building. to shoot stuff. You're easily bored, aren't you? Dunno. I'm usually too busy being awesome to be bored. We're coming out now. Everything clear? Blue skies and hummingbirds. Come on out. Snipers! Shit! You said we were clear! I thought we were! Who would be trying to kill Tammy Tolliver? Her boss, sure, but what did she do? We don't know. You might be Matt, Johnny's been cooped up for a long time. I'd like to do something nice for him. Any chance you can recreate the Mad Professor's murder maze? Genki Bowl? Oh, absolutely. I'll only need a moment. Sounds good. Have Johnny meet me there. Welcome to the Proving Grounds, Genki fans. Tonight's event sees the head of the Third Street Saints and his number one gun facing off against the halls of death and dismay that is Yankee Ball Arena. Will they survive? Will they fall to the might that is your favorite professor? Stay tuned, the carnage starts right now. Genki Bowl? What the fuck is a Genki Bowl? The goal is simple. Kill every damn thing in front of you. Extra points for not dying. Say no more. Let's do this. I look forward to stomping all over the murder floor. It hardly seems fair for you to have superpowers when Johnny doesn't. Superpowers? Let's just do this how we used to. Fine. No superpowers. For now. I can't believe how great it is to have you back, Johnny. <laughs> We thought you were dead. Well, I can't believe you actually thought a trans-euro piece of shit like Philippe Loren would ever get the best of me. Losing you just about broke, Sean. Yo, it was no picnic for me either being stuck in that Zinyak fucker's torture porn. You know, being stuck in that fucked up side-scroller all that time, reliving Aisha's death all day, every day, gave me a lot of perspective. Perspective? <laughs> oh, what? Shit, man, everything. Look, I'm trying to have a moment. Don't ruin it. I'm just saying, that when you're forced to relive the worst fucking thing in your life a million times, you can't help but feel... Different. Different how? Well, I appreciate that. Cash in pocket! Like murdering these fools instead of the same generic Ronin and Vice kings over and over. See, before, I would have taken that for granted. I heard Kinsey talk about all these simulations being based on people's personal nightmares. You know, mine was fucking happens. I'm curious what yours was. Well, you know, 1950s sitcom. What? Nonconformity, nobody swears, no violence. No, I get it. Jeez. God, that's fucking terrible. <laughs> so why aren't you in that sitcom? I mean, what's so scary about a fucked up version of a Rust Belt city like Steelport? Sinyak thinks being in a town where the saints don't run things is enough to break me. Huh. Is it? Shit, no. Any town the saints don't run, and we'll just take it over anyway. <laughs>
great job on the killing floor by the Dream Team. Yeah, that was great. Wait, there's more to this? What's that? You heard the man. Play progresses to the second round. Hey, Matt, flip my superhero switch back to on. Fine. Which hardly seems fair. God damn it! What the hell are you doing? Oh, gee, I don't know what happened. <laughs> you wear it well. Just fix it! Matt, quit fucking around! We should be fine now! Yo, so fill me in. What's been going on lately? Well, you know, took out some terrorists, became the president of the United States, rolled back the national debt. Ooh! Got to fly Air Force One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about before that? Before that was Steelport. Luchadors, evil hackers, and European assholes in black suits. Luchadors? What, you mean wrestlers? Yeah. And I thought Stillwater had some fucked up gangs. Yo, what about Philippe? He was our number one target. You know, that shit goes. Yeah. You can't go after one without taking on the whole town. Oh, well, luckily we had Kenzie and Zemos and Oleg and... Zemos and Oleg? Are they on the ship too? No. I don't know if Zemos made it, but Oleg is... Well, Shit, man, with a name like Oleg, I bet he was a big motherfucker. First time I met Oleg, he was naked and strapped into a big machine. Uh, yo, yo, Steelport sounds like a party town. With his new crew. They're good? Well, nobody could replace you. Ah, fight me. No, but seriously, lots of new folks wearing purple these days. Oh, Kinsey? He's really smart. It kind of freaks me out how she always knows so much more than everyone else, but we wouldn't be able to take the fight with Zinyan without her. And what about that Matt kid? Did he and Kinsey a thing? What? God, no! No! Shit, man, don't even put that thought in my head! How about Asha? Man, what's her name? It's a question. I can't dive into her past much. She's good though, right? A little competition there, Johnny? No, but she seems to. She's not used to having competition when it comes to being a team badass. <laughs> Neither am I. All right, I gotta know. Keith David. How the hell did that happen? Oh, I look at a lot of candidates, but you know, when Keith David says he wants to be on your team, you don't say no. Yeah, sure, but doesn't he remind you of... Don't even go there. He hates when people bring that up. You in? Hell yeah! Hold up, before we go, yo Matt! Hook me up with some superpowers. Really? But don't turn me into a fucking toilet. Fucking in. Yo, whenever you're ready. How you holding up, huh? Oh, I'm just fine. You're not getting tired? Sure you don't need a break? You sure you're gonna make it through this without taking a mortal wound? No guarantees. Oh, you wanna start bringing up shit? We could talk about that stank-ass perfume, the oversized marital aids, and that purple cat Pierce was trying to breathe. Hey, you came close that one time. Yo, dude, grape saint's flow dumped on your fur is not a hereditary tree. But what if it was? Look at this! The kinky girls have entered the arena! I can't wait to see the carnage! Hey, about Sean. Here they go! I know me disappearing like that had to be hard on her. It's obvious she ain't the carefree girl she was back in still. No, she's most definitely not. Yeah. She's not the only one who got fucked up by your death, John. I don't know, Pierce seems fine. See, I don't think Pierce's own death is gonna break his <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know how you felt. I have nobody on my side in that fucking simulation. And half the fun of murdering is doing it alongside a friend. Oh, you too. Oh, Jesus. Now, can we quit being pussies and shoot these fucking mascots? I hope you don't mind, but I took this opportunity to create something special for you two. Well, more for Johnny, really. Should I be concerned? You'll find out soon. <laughs> Unethical!
us know what's next. Philippe. Neither of you really got a chance to take out your frustrations on him. That he just might be a genius after all. Please. You honestly think a couple of hooligans such as yourself can take me? I dare you to try. Super ethical boss fight, buddy! This is the type of conflict you live for, Jack. Your attempt is failing. Give up. Like that, Philippe Loren, former head of the Syndicate, is dead. Again. Zach, that was a hell of a match. Indeed it was, Bobby. Drama, comedy, pathos, and gallons of blood. Everything that makes this sport the sweet science. Wrong sport, Zach, but I know what you mean. This is getting a little weird for anyone else, but just me. Uh, yeah, Matt, get us out of here.